Hello, my glorious friends and family. Uh, so, in this video, uh, as you can see, I have a pretty badly broken nail. I'm going to test a post I found on Pinterest using um, a tea bag to fix my nail. Sorry if my voice goes in and out during this. Uh, and as you can clearly see with that broken nail, uh, it was almost a complete clean break. As you can see, there's a little bit of a jagged edge. That's all right. But it was a very big piece to be broken off. It was the complete tip other than the little bit of corner right there. And it took it down very far. I, I've been asked, especially by my friend Lily, uh, what do I do? if I tend to break a nail. Normally, if it would be like just a tiny little bit, like say if I would have broken off just about that much, I would have easily have filed it down. But this is a very big break to file down. It would pretty much bring me down to no nail. Almost. I warn you, if you hear background noises, I'm at my parents' house right now. So it would be my little brother or sister or dog in the background. The products that you are going to need it calls for one tea bag, and I'm just using my tea bag that I have, which is an organic green tea bag. Obviously, the broken bit of nail that you have, or if it would have been attached, just, you know, leave the nail on, but unfortunately mine broke completely. You're going to need a nail file, buffing block, that's what I was looking for, uh, some scissors. some tweezers, a base coat, and this is the uh, LA Colors Nail Treatment Super Strength Nail Builder. That's what I'm going to use. And for my nail glue, it's a KISS Salon Results Maximum Speed Nail Glue. And then, uh, because it's going to be very obvious to have a fabric patch on your nail, you're going to want to paint your nails. So I'm going to be using China Glaze in the color Coconut Kiss 567. Coconut Kiss Sesh Viet Dry Fast Top Coat. That's funny. And apply. That's funny. That's funny. Uh oh. Attempt to apply the nail glue. Without making it run all over my parents' coffee table. And you want to apply a generous amount. And just kind of angle it with where the break was on your nail. I'm probably not going to be able to film me actually getting it put on on camera because I have to have it like right in my face to see what I'm doing. I had to apply it off camera. As you can see, it's not 100% lined up, but it's just enough. Open up the tea bag that you're going to be using. Careful. Just go ahead and dump it out. Now, if you wanted to still drink this, you could have easily uh, kept the tea leaves and put it in like a coffee filter or something. But I just went ahead and dumped it. Uh, so, this is what you're left with empty paper. We're going to cut out a nice section of paper. Now, you're going to want to line this up to measure it to your break. So it's going to go somewhere about there for me. Now I'm just going to, again, cut this up and size it. What I'm going to do is apply my glue onto my nail again. 
this time kind of all over and heavily as you can see very shiny grab the tweezers and place it along the break of the nail and you're gonna want to completely now saturate this in nail glue now that I have a patch on I need this glue to completely Oop, there it is as you can see here it is completely dry now uh, it's a very sturdy tip now it's not moving that's what it should look like when it's dry what you're gonna do now is you're gonna work on shaping that nail all right so I have roughly shaped my nail and as you can see it's just a little bit uneven but I'll take it in considering of the fact that it's not broken anymore so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna need to buff this to make it a nice smooth surface instead of bumpy like what you see there all right so here I am with a completely smooth buffed out nail as you can see you can still see where it was you can see how different it is from the rest of my nails that's what it looks like underneath I'm gonna file under there when I get home with my better file but now I'm gonna apply a base coat and show you all what it looks like so here is what I'm looking like after two coats of base coat you can choose to leave it like this I'm gonna paint it so I'm going to paint my nails and apply my cuticle oil and come right back so you all can see the finished product. Alrighty, so this is the finished product. As you can see, it looks like my actual nail. Doesn't look like a fake nail would. What it looks like underneath. As I said, I went in with my file and I took care of it, so now it's nice and thin like the rest of them. Not super thick and super gluey. There you can see where the break is, but that's okay. Um, it is sturdy, it doesn't bend, like the rest of my nails, you know, it doesn't bend. I can tap it on things, that's the table, it doesn't, uh, move. So this was a really nice and expensive fix that I found, and I'm really happy about it, and... I hope you guys are too. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or requests, please leave them down in the comments below. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. But I would like to thank you all so much for watching this video, and I will see you next time.